We gotta have audio with that though. Is that the guy? That, this is it. This is 100% it. Rory, have you seen this? Uh, probably not. This is really good. Scott Steiner, it's going to be a three-way for the TNA heavyweight title at Sacrifice between you, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. Now, before you get there, you have an important step tonight as you and X Division champion Petey Williams take on the unlikely duo of Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. Yeah. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beat me. At beat me. And you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three ways at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, so I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. Okay. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one-on-one -on -one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percent. <laughs> I got a hundred and forty-one and wow. two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. <laughs> See, Nick Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster no, for they you don't. at sacrifice. See, but I'm going to break it down for you. Also, numbers don't would spell. Would you rather be with me, or would you rather be with Joe? Well, I think Joe's kind of nice. I mean, you know. See, you're one of those girls that like romance. I'm going to talk to all my freaks out there. Would you rather come home to me, a genetic freak, to be satisfied every night, or go home to that fat-ass small Joe? See, tonight, we're going to win, and I'm going to be the world champion at sacrifice. Come on, P. Hey, let's go. Scotty, just like you always say, Big Papa Pump has got your hookup. Well, Maple Leaf Muscle Pretty much. is who you need to look up. Holler if you hear that. He's the best. It's it, when you look at the way that like <clears throat> Petey Williams is reacting through that whole thing, where he's kind of looking off like, <laughs> like what? Like that that to me says that they knew what they were doing. But like so much like it's not like he's a wacky character. He was never no. that. It was just like he was supposed to be this angry dude, and then like half the stuff coming out of his mouth, you're like that's fucking ridiculous. I I don't like that doesn't or it just didn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Like when he was supposed to say to Jericho like. Uh, What's the medieval on your ass thing? Do you remember this? Yeah, I do remember King, that. I, I don't remember Jericho the specifics of it. Oh, you look like uh, King Arthur with his chain mail. And Scott Steiner's like, why don't you bring your medieval ass down here? It's like, no, he was supposed to say, come down here and I'll go medieval on your ass. <laughs> well, whatever. Talking is hard. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough thing. As when you're wearing chain mail, you yeah, know, it kind of just weighs down <laughs> on you a little bit. So I want to start doing that. He's going to be doing the numbers mail? at shows, yeah. I guess, like managing the books, or is he going to be a cook? I mean, you know, you, you can tell from the way he works his math that he could obviously work the books at a show. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I think that Run the gate. I, I think there's yeah. a place in the gaming journalism for chain mail, and I think I'd like to be the first person to bring that into play. Mm. We got a show, Oh! <laughs> So he bought a Shoney's. Yeah, Scott Steiner, this is like a week old, if that. Scott Steiner bought the Shoney's. I used to really like Shoney's. It's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Scott Steiner. He's over the feud with Chucky from Child's Play. He beat finally, Chucky yeah. finally. <clears throat> that seems really dangerous. <laughs> but I bet Probably it's illegal. fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is fun as hell. You ever ride in the back of pickup trucks when you were a kid? Sure, I yeah. I did it all the time. It was fun. It's very poorly edited. Why? Patrons are still in there, Scott. This is not a good start to your show. He's like, <laughs> why would he do that? Did he buy it for the land or? No, he wants to make a new badass Shoney's, so he's tearing down the old Shoney's for huh. chumps. This video will not be complete without a clearly mannequin flying into a window or something. It's not going to be complete until he gives a belly to belly suplex to the Shoney's. Seems like an inefficient way of tearing down a building. Or maybe it's an awesome, awesome way, way, Rory. Yeah, I don't know. I want to see his pitch when he went to whatever video production team he got to do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. You got Red Epic. I need Red Epic. So after slamming Rick into the Shonies, probably like eight times, now he's like showing interest. Just welcome. Shonies. Shonies. What? <laughs> Rick Steiner works as a real estate agent now. Yes, he does. Okay. You can call him if you search for Rick Steiner. Do not real estate. Oh, there he it is. 
Across the street from the Cabela's. Oh, you know. okay, yeah. Some well, poor I'm social media Cabela's. intern at Shoney's has been trying to field all the dumb Twitter responses yeah. about this. Oh, like, I would oh, rather eat the days. taquitos at the racetrack <laughs> that they drove by. If I'm anywhere near Georgia, I'm absolutely going to Scott Steiner's Shoney's. And I think uh, Abdullah the Butcher's uh, Ribs Place is, is that Georgia? I have no idea where it is, yeah. but I, I, I do know. know that he is has still, some kind of Ribs Place. still around? He had, He's alive, yeah. People yeah. don't like that guy. Yeah. He had real stabbing up dudes with a fork and give him whatever disease he had. He won't be liked. He was diabetic. That's not a good thing to do. I don't no, know. If he got a lot of people sick. Stab well, let's eat at his restaurant then. <laughs> <laughs> he won't stab patrons with a fork. Just hmm. like Terry Funk. If you're Terry Funk and you try to get some ribs in this place, yeah, that's probably, that'll probably go bad. That'll probably go bad. <laughs>